Would you like to create something like this? Well, you've come to the right place because today I'm going to teach you how to create beautiful photo slideshows in Premiere Pro. This can work for travel photos, wedding photos, family photos, whatever your heart desires. Let's get started here. I'm going to go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag all my photos onto the timeline and I'm going to do that by just opening up my photos folder, holding down shift and selecting all of the photos and then dragging them onto the timeline. So if I right click a photo and I look at the speed and duration, you can see how long each photo is. Now I'm going to manually adjust each photo duration and I'm going to do that by just selecting all the photos, right click, speed duration, and I'm going to make it three seconds. Press OK. Now you can easily just close in the gaps by clicking and pressing delete, clicking, pressing delete. But if you have a ton of photos, that's going to be a pain in the butt. So what I'm going to do is go into sequence and click close gap. And that'll close all the gaps in between your clips. What we're going to do first is create a copy of all these photos onto the next layer. So I'm going to drag and select all of these photos. I'm going to hold down option on my keyboard and drag this up. So I had just made a copy of all the photos. Now I'm going to go to each photo on the second layer and I'm going to scale them down a bit. Perfect. Now we're going to create a bit of a blurry background here. We're going to go into effects. We're going to search for the Gaussian blur effect and we're going to drag it onto the first picture of the first layer. We're going to up the blurriness in the effect controls to a place we're happy with it. And to avoid this black rim around the corners, we're going to hit repeat edge pixels to fix that. Press command C to copy the effect. We're going to drag and select all of these bottom pictures. We're going to right click, click paste attributes. Make sure that Gaussian blur is selected. And you'll see that now all of the photos have a Gaussian blur effect. I'm actually just going to manually fix this last one because I do not want these black bars. So I'm just going to scale it up a bit. And there we go. So now we are going to add the transitions between the photos and we're just going to go with a typical cross dissolve. So I'm going to start by highlighting all the photos here and hitting Command D on my keyboard. I'm going to take away the first and last one. And now you can see that it cross dissolves between the photos. Perfect. Now let's add some movement. We're only going to be adding movement to the second layer. So we'll start with the first picture. So when you're making keyframes, think of it like this. You want to create a start and an end point. We're going to start off with the end point. I'm happy with how the scale looks for the end. So I'm just going to hit a keyframe and I'm going to change the rotation to two. And I'm going to make a keyframe. I'm going to drag these two keyframes at the end because that's where the photo movement is going to end. We're going to make another keyframe. We're going to go back three seconds. So that'll be 75 and we're going to change the rotation to four. And I'm going to move these keyframes to the beginning. As you can see, there's like a nice scale in rotation movement. We're going to go ahead and add that to the next photo. Make sure that it is selected. Let's adjust the end keyframe. So I'm happy with something like this. We're going to hit the scale keyframe. We're going to have the rotation go the opposite way. We had it two and four before, but now we're going to do negative two and negative four. So let's make this negative two, make a keyframe. Put this at the end here. We're going to take this back three seconds and we're going to make this negative four. I'm going to move this at the beginning. So you can see that now they, they kind of rotate different ways and I'm just going to alternate between the two. Now go ahead and do these to the rest of your photos. And there you have it, folks. 
an elegant design that you can add to all of your photo slideshows. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the You Want Pizzazz channel for more Adobe tutorials. Have a great day, folks.